everyone and welcome to this week's story. Story! Oh, hello Eddie. Would you like to come and listen to the story too? Yeah. Great. Come yes. here and listen then. So this week's story is about the lost son. The lost son? Yes. Oh, I, I, I once I got lost as well. Did you? Yeah, I was in a park and I couldn't find my way back. Oh, it's hard getting lost, isn't it? Well, listen and hear... I, I didn't like it. No, I'm sure you didn't, and nor did the sun, but you listen. I found my way back. <laughs> Good. <laughs> anyway, this story is a story called a parable. A parable? Mm. What's a parable? Well, it's a very special kind of story that Jesus told. Ah. And this one is also called the parable of the prodigal son. Prodigal son? Mm. What's prodigal? Well, prodigal means when you spend loads of money on things you don't really need and you're very wasteful with what you have. Oh, this is when you, you, you buy lots of sweets and you, you, you lose them and don't eat them. Well, either that or you gobble them all down and keep buying more and more. Anyway, listen and see, because that's exactly the sort of thing that this son does. Okay. So this is the parable that Jesus told. There once was a father that had two sons. Two sons? Yes. Oh, wow. I, I don't have a brother, but I have a friend called Lila. That's right, you do. Anyway, listen to this story now. Mm -hmm. One day, the younger son said to his father... Father, could you give me my inheritance now? Inheritance? What's inheritance? Well, it's all the money that the father would give his children after he had died. After he died? But his father wasn't dead, was he? No, he wasn't. So, oh. how do you think the father felt then? I don't think he felt very good because he wasn't dead. No, that's right. Anyway, the father thought about it and decided his sons could have the money now and he split it evenly between them, half for the older brother and half for the younger brother. And very soon after the younger brother received the money, he decided that since he had so much money now, he would move to a different country and have some fun with it. Yeah, that, that sounds good, doesn't it? Well, let's see what happened. When he left, he left for good. He took every last thing he had and he didn't plan on returning. He wanted to spend all his money now. How he wanted to spend it and with no one to tell him what to do. Wow. I, I think I'd like to have lots of money as well. Well, let's see what how it all turned out. He just left everything. He left a big farm with many hired workers. He left everything he needed. He left his family. And more importantly, he left his father, who had trusted him enough to give him the money in the first place. Oh, I don't think I would like to leave my family and my father. No. And how do you think his father felt? I think he felt sad. He did, I'm sure, and I'm sure he missed him very much. Anyway, while the son was gone, he spent all the money he had right away. He didn't think to save any of it. He ate out every meal every day. Wow! Did he have fish and chips? He did. Fish and chips, pizza. Oh, I loads love of fish and chips and I love pizza. I know you do. And you know what else? He bought loads of fancy cars, he threw wild parties and he spent the money on many other things that God wouldn't really have been happy with. After he'd spent all his money, the country he was living in became very poor and they hardly had enough food for everyone. It was even worse for people who had no money because the food got more and more expensive. It was really hard for poor people to get any food at all. No food. I know. So the son was in big trouble. He had no money, no place to live, nothing to eat. 
Oh, was I was hungry the other day and I didn't like it. No. This is not nice. It's not a nice feeling. And he really mm. needed to get some money to get some food. So he had to get a job. But you yeah. know what? The only job he could find was feeding the pigs. Feeding the pigs. I saw pigs the one other day and, and it was in a farm and they were kind of all kind of in the mud. Yes, that's right. And sometimes they have to find their food in the mud, don't they? Yes. But do you know what? The the son was so hungry, he felt like even eating the food that the pigs were eating. <gasps> oh, the food in the mud. It was just something to stop him being hungry. Anyway, that night, as the son was walking home, his stomach wouldn't stop rumbling. He was so hungry. Then he saw some people walking towards him, and he asked them if they could give him any money for food. But yeah. no one would give him anything. Mm. Everyone was so poor, it was hard to share with anyone. So the son went to bed hungry again. Mm. Oh, and when he woke up, he realised... He needed, he realised something important. When he had lived with his father, even the hired men had more food than they needed. And now here he was, starving to death. So at that moment, he made a plan. Yeah. He would go back to his father's house and say to him, I've turned away from God and from you. I don't deserve to be called your son. No. So please hire me and I will work for you. Because he knew that if he became like a hired man on his father's farm, he would be better off than he was now. He would always have a warm place to stay and food to food eat. to eat, mm. yes. So he got up and headed for home. Now it took the son a long time to get home. And he was just hoping that his dad would let him work at the farm and let him be a hired worker. But his dad was really upset, wasn't he? I, I, do you think he would let him be back? Well, I wondered. What do you think, Eddie? Should I we, don't know. No, should we find out? So what happened was the son was walking up the hill to the farm and he was tired. But while he was still a long way off, he thought he could see someone notice him and start running towards him. He was sure that they must have been expecting someone else. No one would be excited to see him. But as the person got closer, he realised it was his father. And his father was yelling. Yelling? Oh no, was he angry with him? Guess what? Guess what his what? father was what? yelling? What? His father was yelling, my son, my son, you're finally home. <gasps> he couldn't believe it. His father threw his arms around him and hugged him and kissed him. <gasps> he was so pleased to see him. But the son quickly said, father, I've turned away from God and you. I don't deserve to even be called your son. The son wanted to continue but the father said to one of the hired workers, Quick, bring some nice new clothes for my son and some new clue shoes. <laughs> Let's have a party. Yay. Let's celebrate because my son was lost and now he's found. Let's have his favourite food. Yay. Yay. Fish and chips. Yay. Party. Yay. Party. Let's have pasta parcel. Yay. Let's have... Hide and seek. Yay. Yay. Anyway, a little while later, the older son was working in the field and he heard the music and dancing. So he mm. called one of the hired workers and he asked him, what's going on? And the hired worker said to him, your brother has come home and your father's having a party to celebrate. <gasps> but... He, did he go to the party? Oh, guess what? The older brother was really upset and he refused to go and join in the party. Oh, why? Let's find out. The father heard that the older brother was upset, so he went to talk to him 
and he invited him to join in the party. But the older brother refused, saying, Look, I've been working for you all these years and I never disobeyed you. But you never had a big party for me to celebrate Mm. with my friends. Mm. And now my younger brother has come home, spent all the money you gave him, and you still have a big party for him and even give him his favourite food. Yeah, he's this not right, is it? Well, let's see, let's see what the father said. And the father said to him, My son, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was lost and now he's found. Yay! Yay! Can you have some fish and chips now? (laughs) 